Today's video is brought to you by Technically Not a Technician, and in today's video we'll be talking about the classic arcade game Terminator 2. T2, also known as Terminator 2, Judgment Day, is a light gun shooter based on the same named 1991 arcade video game created by Midway Manufacturing Company. Many of the actors from the motion picture are back for the game, which was created concurrently with the movie and incorporates them into its photorealistic digital graphics. The game's plot closely resembles that of the movie, with up to two players taking on the roles of the T-800, Terminator, Cyborg from the movie, which was sent back in time to defend John Connor from the T-1000 Terminator. After finding success in arcades, Acclaim Entertainment released home versions of the game for a variety of platforms under the moniker T-2, the arcade game to avoid confusion with the many other games that are also based on the movie. Players can assume the role of AT-800 cyborg designed to defend John and Sarah Connor, the Resistance fighters, and the world from Skynet's assault. The game is played from the first-person viewpoint. Seven stages make up the game, the last three taking place in John's childhood in the 1990s, while the first four are set during the human-machine war in 2029. If the player loses John in the third, sixth, or seventh stages, they must start that stage over from the beginning and suffer a severe health penalty. A machine gun that fires automatically as long as the trigger is pulled is the player's main weapon. A secondary weapon can be fired by depressing a side button. Gun ammo is unlimited, but as you fire repeatedly, an on-screen power gauge slowly depletes, slowing the rate of fire. When the gun trigger is let go, the gauge gradually refills. All throughout the game, players can find health and weapon power-ups as well as ammunition for the secondary weapon. The player receives bonus points for the quantity and variety of enemies killed as well as the amount of damage committed at the conclusion of every stage, with the exception of the sixth, but loses points for every person killed. In conclusion, T2 really hits the spot when I need that 90s nostalgia it scratched. I'm not sure if this game has aged well. I still enjoy it, but the gameplay can feel slow at times, and I feel like as long as I keep feeding this thing quarters, I'll eventually win, and maybe I don't really need skill to win. I can say that when this game first came out, I felt the graphics were next level, and that side of the game really has aged well. If you haven't played this, you owe it to yourself. Thank you for checking out this video today. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. These are all small clicks of the mouse for you, but they mean a lot to this small channel. Thank you.